Mikhail, you got that first matchup out of the way against the Suns um, there. For this one going here into Barclays Center, what's just your overall thought process of playing them again? Um, just an opportunity to get another win, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just you want two straight, and it's another game for us to go get better and, and get another win. When you look at the Suns team, when you look back at the last game, you know they've gotten healthy and they've gotten more consistency. What, what's the biggest changes out of the Suns group? Um, I think just time, honestly. I think time with them, you know, it's not, you know, they have the players, but also it just takes time to figure things out together. So, and that's what they've been doing lately, been playing way better, especially since that point. And I think that was their first game together. So, uh, they just spent a lot of time with each other and figuring out what to do offensively, defensively, and been way better. That was after beating them there. I mean, that was a high watermark for you guys, I think 13 and 10. Um, then you had this extended period where things haven't gone your way. What, I guess, did you guys lose after that hitting that high water mark, and what have you started to find over these last six or seven years? Um, I don't know. I think just, just finding our identity, finding I think same thing, what I was talking about them, just more time together and figuring out, you know, the offense, defense, you know, guys been out. You know, in and out lineup, so trying to figure out the lineup situation and guys figuring out the roles. I think our roles is kind of getting a little bit more understood, understood and defending. I think we're defending way better and, uh, you know, helping each other out defensively with rotating and if we're getting blown by. I think we're just, there's more showing five as a team besides leaving people on the island than in the past. You talked about lineups and so forth. It's a big talking point earlier in the season. You and Cam each had big offensive games. Rarely were they together. Yeah. Uh, I think the last six games, both of you guys are averaging 25. Yeah. What have you guys found that's enabled you guys to start cooking together in the same game? I mean, I think that's just what we need, um, especially for us to be in games and to win games. Um, I think just us scoring at high volume and us being decision makers, um, very capable of and you know, helps us. So, uh, I mean, I joke around with Cam all the time and um, just about the situation and us being out there, being able to score the ball. And it just, it just helps our team. And then, like, I think he gets blitzed way more than me and things like that. If guys get it going, now they're playing, you know, putting two to the ball and now we're playing four on three on the other side. So, you know, good things happen when we're scoring and in the flow of the offense. Um, it just gives us confidence just defensively and then shuts the uh, other team's confidence down if they're not getting as many stops. What do you expect tonight with Durant coming back to this building? Um, I know I saw something about the, the tribute video. I don't know if he wants one or not, but, oh yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, I don't know, I think it's, I mean, I still think it's going to be a great one for him. Um, this did a good amount of years here, had, did a lot of great things. Um, but, yeah, I think, I mean, I think, Fans probably be excited. Um, I, I I don't know how they feel, but I think they'll be excited. What about for you? Does this game hold any special value? Is it different than other games because you're going up against your old team and Durant's coming back in? No, I think it's I think it's the thing I could take away from this game is probably just on the other team aspect. My old team is to see some of my former teammates or my past teammates. That's what it really is about, just seeing them. But for us, just getting another game. To me, it's just another game, and for us to get better and you know continue this win streak. What was it about Paris that you guys were able to kind of fine tune some of those defensive principles? Like, what were some things you guys maybe focused on? Um, I think having time to practice and and be detailed in practice and go over our shell defense. You know, you know, really more detailed besides just just running around. I think we was we were very detailed from that trip and uh, learned a lot from it. A little bit more than a week until the trade deadline, but, but it's coming up. Is that been a topic of conversation uh, at all around you guys? And is that kind of tough to put out of your head? Um, no, I think we've all been a part of it. You know, everybody here, besides a couple, probably been traded. So uh, I think it's just a norm, and it's a norm in the league. Just every year, somebody's going to get traded. It's not not on one team, but in the league, people are just going to get traded. So we just I think you just sit here and just, you just watch and just see what happens. What the Nets will look like afterwards? Um, no, not really. I just 
try to control what I can control and, you know, try to win as many games and play hard every day and then, you know, see whatever happens. How does Ben's presence create opportunities, additional opportunities for you and Cam and, and this ball club? Yeah, I mean, he's an elite passer and um, having an elite pass out there, you know, that could find guys, you know, makes it easier on a team and especially me and Cam. So definitely good to have him out there and, you know, his presence is just is felt out there. You mentioned about how you guys are, the roles are becoming more defined with Ben's addition and kind of you're still playing with the different rotations and different combos. But you guys as a group, what's just your approach or like finding that chemistry and having that success the other night and continuing that? Yeah, I mean, we're really, really close off the court, so this shouldn't be an issue when we play, but it's just that the minutes and, you know, find that time of being able to share the court together with different type of players. You gotta get that chemistry. Um, no matter how close you are off the court, you just gotta know how guys play and what spots they like and things like that. And that only happens over time where you just continue to play more minutes together. So I think, you know, we don't worry about the the care part about each other. I think it's just it's more just trying to find, you know, the lineups, what works and, you know, what guys go you know well, you know, on the court together. Thank you, Thank you.